I'm Penny Elberg. I'm the public art consultant for the New Acton precinct as a whole. So I've been working on the precinct for about five years already. Nishi obviously has so many facets that everyone speaks about in quite different ways. From my perspective as the public art consultant, what's important about Nishi in terms of its cultural programming, in terms of the presence of artists, craftspeople, designers, makers, is that this is an opportunity to show that we don't have to change the way the world is structured to be able to incorporate the hand making and the making of eyes and spirit that happens in every artist's work directly into the making of the building. These two things can happen simultaneously just within the budgets that it takes to build the modern world. I think the reason why art plays a fundamental role in New Acton and has from the very beginning is the fact that every one of us as individuals is capable of the making special of things. It's what we do in our lives every day. If we sew the blue curtain for the window, that's about creative making. If we plant pansies down the garden path in a way, that's creative making. If we have a beloved old car that we restore painstakingly in the shed on the weekend, that's another kind of person's creative making. So we all respond to this notion of the making special, of the excellence of taking the spark that happens inside each of us to do something which is different from the ordinary, the extruded, the plain. So what the presence of artists, craftspeople, designers work is all about is it takes away from what happened to us all in the Industrial Revolution, where places happened quite naturally as unique places because it meant that the clay was different in this place or there was a metal factory here or someone had stone making skills there. Now, of course, the world is exactly the same because of industrial international production. So in a way, what art is doing here is it's replacing that sense that we have to live in a prefabricated world. We don't have to live in it. It's about being painstakingly careful about how we make places so that they have meaning, they have resonance, they poke us in the ribs, they make us smile, they scare us a bit. It's about being able to interlace content on a whole series of levels into the places where we work and we recreate and we play and we live. So. It's not about window dressing. It's not about a bit of decoration. It's not about a kind of a feat form of marketing. It's about the most fundamental thing, which is how do we interlace meaning in our lives in the 21st century. Every time we take a place seriously as a group of designers and constructors and financiers and so forth, we really are looking at that place from the standpoint of what does it want to be? What must it be if we're going to reveal what its essence and its sense of itself is? So again, creative making in relation to what was here before. We know a lot about Aboriginal presence on this site. We know about the historic presence of the Hotel Acton. We know about heritage listed landscape. We know now what we must do in the 21st century about densification of cities. All of those things are about saying, okay, how do we take this place and take responsibility for making it as good as we can possibly make it? How do we get an excellence within this place that then makes people want to come, linger, be here, makes people see it as part of a pride in the making of a city that counts? So with Nishi, given its intense emphasis on making the place as sustainable as possible. Cultural sustainability is as important as environmental sustainability, social sustainability, etc. So this is another essential, not just extra, if you feel like it, added element of saying, what is it about the light here, the views, the presences, the making of an itinerary, the connecting this place with the bicycle path to the National Museum or back into the city. It's really about being able to think simultaneously about 
lacing this place into a much more global sense of the city as well as the intimate sense of how do I make a good place for someone to sit and read a book and watch their two-year-old.